everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kathy. Okay, please stay subscribed because on this channel we create an easy, fun sewing tutorial. Okay, in order for you not to miss out on any of our videos, kindly hit on the subscribe button, the red button. Okay, and having done that, make sure you hit on the bell notification icon so that anytime new videos are uploaded on this channel, you will be the first person to get notified and if you are a returning subscriber it's lovely to see you again so guys in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you how you can design this simple headband yes guys it's a quick diy trust me it takes less than five to ten minutes to design so are you ready well then let's get started welcome back guys so for today's tutorial these are the material i'll be working with on this table i have my fabric i have a snipper i have a lighter a pair of scissors, I have my needle, a machine thread, and my sewing machine. Okay, so let's continue. So guys, for today's tutorial, we are going to be designing two headbands. And on this table, I have two headbands already, okay? These are the example of what we are going to be designing. It's the same, yes, I know. It's the same headband, right? But it has different closing. What do I mean by different closing? If you look at this one very closely, you will see that the inside, I've turned it inside and right, the inside is very neat and this, it doesn't have any seam showing, right? No seam showing, yeah. And if you look at this one, just it looks the same just like the first one. But if you open it inside out, you will see that it has seam showing, right? So this one, the same is eating, and this one, the same is showing. So that is why we are going to be designing. So that's why today I have two strips of fabric, which I've already cut out. I'll be telling you the measurement shortly, right? So I'll be designing one with the same showing, and I'll be designing the second one without the same showing. So now it's up to you. When you are designing yours, you can choose to show your seam, or you can choose to hide your seam, okay? Actually, I have a tutorial on this channel already, which it quite looks very similar. It has the same closing, just like this one. If you haven't watched it, please go watch it, okay? So, let's continue. So, guys, the measurement I will be working with today, the length measures 19.5, right? And the width measures... 6.5 right so the length of this fabric the length is 19.5 and the width is 6.5 you guys you don't have to use the same measurement like my trust me you can adjust your measurement you can make your length to be 18 it all depends on the type of fabric you are working with this fabric stretches a lot okay so that's why i just decided to make and this is an adult headband like this headband this one that has already been made is for babies they are babies headband and the length of this one is 16 and the width is 6 right the length of both is 16 and the width is 6 inches all right so for this one it's an adult for an adult headband you can make your length to be 18 you can make it to be 19 it all depends okay and you can make your length your width to be 8 or 6 or 10 depending on how wide you want your headband to look okay so you don't have to use this exact measurement all right so so guys the next thing you're going to do you're going to fold your fabric into two equal half by making sure the good side of the fabric the good side of the fabric is inside and the wrong side is outside just like so okay you fold it in half like so then you take your fabric to your sewing machine and stitch from here to here okay so let's do that you guys, if you are a beginner and you haven't used a sewing machine before, trust me, this is a project you can lay your hands on, you can practice. It's very easy. All right? So if you are a beginner, this is a project for you. So please give it a try. So guys, let's stitch. So guys, I'm done stitching and this is what the fabric is looking like after stitching, right? So the next thing you're going to do, you're going to turn your fabric inside out, like so. So 
so after you are finished only the fabric inside out then you're going to fold your fabric in half like so you make sure the side that doesn't have seam is inside and the side that has seam is outside just like so right it's the same part it's showing it's outside and you make sure the side without the seam is inside right then you take your fabric to your sewing machine and stitch from here from this side to this side all right so let's do that so guys let's stitch so it's back and forth okay so guys i'm done stitching the fabric and this is the outcome right this is what it is looking like so the next thing you're going to do you're going to cut out the excess thread just like so then cut out the excess fabric so after that then you grab your lighter then you do this just a little bit no problem. this we stop it from ripping out that's all from losing out because we're working with a stretchy fabric right you don't want to leave the rough edges like that just use a lighter to do that just exactly the way i did it very quite easy so this is it guys we are done with the first one right i told you the first one reveals the same which is this right and it's very nice very simple this is a simple project for beginners quite easy you can design this under five to ten minutes right can you see that so now let's work on the second fabric so we're going to design one without the same without this same showing so let's do that so we'll do the same thing we did with the first fabric you open up your fabric like so then you make sure the good side is inside and the wrong side is outside then you fold it into two equal half the good side of the fabric is inside and the wrong is outside then you take it to your sewing machine and stitch from here to here so let's do that again so guys let's sew so guys i'm done stitching the second strip of fabric right so the next thing i'm going to do Again, you turn the fabric inside out. So now, the next thing, you fold the fabric into two equal half, like so. Making sure the parts without the seam is inside and the parts with the seam is outside, right? Now, instead of you to take this fabric to the sewing machine and stick from here to here like the first one like the way we did with the first fabric headband i mean we are going to do this instead please guys watch this side very closely okay right so guys like i said you are not going to take the fabric to the sewing machine to your sewing machine and stitch from here to here like the way we did the first headband what you're going to do after folding the fabric into two equal half like so right you take a clip or if you have a pin you can make use of a pin and do this this first fabric here this is the second one right you put it together like so then if you notice it's like we have four openings like one two three four right then you're going to put the two the middle ones the middle fabric like so you're going to clip it down right have you seen that then after clipping it down you're going to do this you move your hand just wash my hand very closely it's good right Then you clip it the second time. Then you continue moving it 
as much as you can right you clip it down again yeah that now we have three clips then you can now take it to your sewing machine and start stitching from here round as you continue stitching then you leave a small opening so that you'll be able to turn this fabric inside out i hope you understand what i mean all right let me just take it quickly repeat it again one more time so guys this is our fabric and the same part the side without the same is inside and the part with the same is outside like so right then you turn your fabric you fold it into two equal half like so then you bring it right the middle fabric now we have like four fabric right one two one two three four four right let's just assume they have <laughs> four right so the middle ones you clip it down then you pull your hand like so yeah i know this this part is quite tricky so you can do it just watch very closely okay and you clip it then you continue moving your hand as much as you can right then you clip it the third time then you take it to your sewing machine and sew from here as you continue sewing you're going to leave a space just a small opening that you will use to turn it up inside out i'll be showing you when i'm about to sew okay so let's do that so please you can go slowly it's quite tricky but you can do it take out your second clip okay. and take out your last clip carry on moving it the fabric carry on stitching you're going to leave a little bit of openings so that you'll be able to turn this fabric inside out so you see what i mean shortly so guys this is what the fabric is looking like after sewing i ask you to leave it small openings which is this right so that we're going to turn this sewing part you're going to be pulling it inside so you do this you push it inside right that is it guys look this is the small opening that i ask you to leave have you seen it right so now i'm going to cut out the excess thread right then you can take your sewing machine now to your sewing machine and edge stitch this side or you can make use of your needle and thread just to sew here to here it's just these small openings so now i'll be making use of my needle and thread to do that okay right so let's do that so guys i'm going to be closing these openings these small openings with the help of my needle and my thread okay so just watch what i'm doing very closely So this is it guys i'm done closing it up so the next thing you're going to do you're going to tie a knot and then you can cut out the excess thread so 
guys this is it this is what the fabric is looking like after closing the small openings right so the next thing you're going to do is going to turn your fabric inside out like so so voila all done can you see that so guys that's basically how to do it so you can see the same isn't showing right so and with this one the same is showing now you can choose to design your headband with your seam showing or you can decide to do it without revealing your seam it's up to you okay so thank you so much for watching thank you guys so guys we've come to the end of today's video thank you so much for watching and i hope you find today's video helpful if you do kindly give me a thumbs up like share with your friends share with your family and please don't forget to subscribe all right hit on that subscribe button the red button and having done that make sure you hit on the bell notification icon so that anytime new videos are uploaded on this channel you will be the first person to get notified all right thank you so much once again for watching then i will see you all in my next one Bye, guys.